Greetings. Today I'll tell you about uh, this kid who I used to go to grade school with. Uh, he was a very special case of very serious ADHD. Like if you Google ADHD bastard, he will probably show up. Uh, for the sake of anonymity and respect, let's just call him E, like the letter E, like the Echo JK album. E was, I mean, as I said, special kid. Um, um, for example, one time he he was visiting my house because we were gonna play Team Fortress Two. He slept over. It was really annoying, but like, you know, cool kid. Anyways, really good at Team Fortress. And one time we were um we lived in the ground level, and one day or like on the second day, for some reason we he decided to go into the elevator. I don't know why there was no reason to go into the elevator. So I followed with him because, you know, that this is my apartment. You know, I live in this building. I have to go with him. He's a guest, of course. And so we went up and like after literally like five seconds of going up, he pressed the emergency button and then we can't open the door. We can't get out of the elevator. We're in panic. I'm like, fuck, what do we do? What do we do? Like, do we call, you know, like, a firefighters, so they come and get us. Uh, we we get our parents to come. They're visibly annoyed. They're like, oh, oh, and I'm just sitting there in this elevator with E, and we're like, we start pressing the buttons, and then it goes down. But like, what the fuck was that about? And then here in Sweden, we have this thing called the national tests, and that's like this, this huge, huge, huge test that pretty much. All the weight is on it. Now, I don't know how true this is, but legend goes that he was excused to go to the toilet for some reason, uh, which I don't think you're allowed. So the credibility of the story is rather unbelievable, but I will tell it anyways, because the kid is a legend, a true legend, a fucking asshole, but a legend. Anyway, he went to the bathroom and supposedly uh, set like this trash can on fire. So he will need to do the rest of the test. And like the fire alarm went off and people had to get out. I don't know if this is true. Um, he used to, one time um, he, he was going, he was taking a Spanish class. So he was learning Spanish. And one time he jumped out of the window from the second floor like he he jumped out just like Vroom! and people were like what he just jumped out what the fuck and he went back up like he went out jumped down took damage to his foot i think went back to the classroom sat there got yelled at by the teachers and then he jumped again he survived of course but like what what's that about um he used to throw firecrackers at homeless people. He will scream out the N-word. Around 8th grade, I stopped seeing him. He stopped going to school. I think he became homeschooled. And, and supposedly it got much better. I, th- I don't know whatever happened to him. One of his closest friends, uh, let's call him H, um, who will also say the N-word all the time, Special times, really special times. Uh, I know he became like a drug dealer for some reason. Uh, he was really well off. He had like a really beautiful family. He had like the nicest grandparents of all time. They were living like the forest, like way up north. I don't know what happened. I think he got addicted to something. He started selling. It was really weird. They went to this high school where they have this thing called the white party. And they they say it's oh no it's because you go dressed in all white but kind of everyone knows it was because they only want white people to come because uh that high school is like right in the middle of like a rich area and an immigrant area so like it's very mixed which I mean it's great I love it but like the rich kids are racist. And the immigrant kids take no shit. So it's like a constant struggle. It's, I mean, if the class war, no, not the class war, I'm sorry. I mean, it's class war as well. You know, it's clear class 
differences. But like if the race war will start anywhere, it will be in that school. I've heard so much shit about that school. I don't know. Poor age. He was such a sweet kid. I remember one time he showed me like this. He was he wanted me to explain why he was getting hate on YouTube because of one comment he made. So he showed me the comment. And he was he predicted this. This was like around 2017, 16 maybe. And he had commented on a Smash video and he was like, I think you should, they should put Minecraft Steve and Sans Undertale on Smash. And people were just going at him, calling him cringe, calling him a little kid, calling him the N-word again. Um, what's up with the N-word today, you know? Seinfeld voice. What's up with the N? Forget about it. Forget about it. I don't know, it was weird. And he was getting roasted, and like, now it's just... Sun Sander tells in Smash. Isn't Steven Smash too? I'm no gamer. It was weird. But H was a sweet kid. Really, really sweet kid. E was an asshole, but like... Deep inside, I knew he was struggling, so I couldn't hate for real. I always tried to be a little bit nicer to him. I mean, we did play Team Fortress, and he was... For a small period of time, he was like proper friends with my twin. Um, but it was weird. I wonder where he's, what he's doing now. Both of them. What's up with E? What's up with H? I hope they're in a good place. I have to go. If you listen to this thing, I guess you're bored. And so am I. Have a good one. Uh, until next time. Uh, I think it's cozy just to talk. Maybe I should do like a proper YouTube channel, just talking. I refuse to do the podcast though, because that's for losers. And I'm a loser, but I don't want to fuel the loser pile, you know? Like throw um, wood, firewood in the fire place. Goodbye. Have a good one.